Good morning, guys. Mr. Jamnik here. Hope everyone's doing well on this lovely morning. Um, moving along with the lesson for Module 11 with Box and Whisker. Uh, we already spoke about the overview of what a box and whisker is, from the quartile to the whisker to the box, and then the second video I was showing you guys of how the, to find the greater median, and that was focusing on the line in the middle. Now we're moving on to the second component of how to compare the data based on it. Don't forget, we're comparing taxi A and taxi company B. So the next question you're going to be asked, and there will be obviously different depending on the question that's uh, being asked to you and the data that's being shown, but the process is still going to be the same. So this is, I'm asking you again, box and whisker plot shows the distribution of number of rides given by two taxi companies, and now for this, you're going to be asked to find the greater interquartile, which is the full box length. So the interquartile is just asking you to look, again, at the number line, looking at the full box length. So again, you're not focusing on the whisker yet. That's going to get to the next part when you have to find the consistent spread from the whiskers pertaining to the box. But I'll get there. Okay. So for the second part, is pretty simple too. And it all depends. It's not always going to work like this. For this particular, uh, particular question, this is how it felt, okay? So when you're finding the greater interquartile full box length, you're looking at both companies first, okay? So we're going to look at company A, okay? Company A, so full box length. So again, the whiskers do not pertain to the box length. You're just looking at the length of the box, okay? So we know that company A starts at 20, so we're going to put 20 here. So about 20 rides, because that's what it's asking. And then we're going to say it goes to the full, again, full box length, right? So we got 20, 25, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, stop. Okay? And it goes to 40. Okay? Again, greater interquartile, which is the full box length. That's what the main focus is. Okay? Don't get thrown off when it says interquartile, when people just think of inside the box. You're looking at the interquartile of the box between the box and, I mean, between the both whiskers, okay? So now you're moving on to company B. Company B starts at about, again, same thing, 20 rides, and we're moving along. Remember, we're not focusing on the line that we did for greater median. We're focusing on the full box length. So moving along, moving along, moving on. Up, oh, we got 40, okay? So for this one, if I'm asking you which one of the company A or B has the greater interquartile full box length, everybody should be looking at this and saying that what? These two companies have the good, have the same, okay? It will be different, oops, sloppy E, sorry about that. It will be different based on the problems that you're going to see from the word problems, open-ended, and how they infuse the different box and whisker plots. But for this one, this happened to work out like this. So again, when you're asked to find the greater interquartile length or the full box length you're not looking at the whiskers okay you're not looking at whisker 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 that's going to be the last component that you're going to be asked you're looking at the full box range from here they can go up here one could start there's thousands of different scenarios that you can do to fall into the um, the box range for the interquartile but you just have to look at the two you'll see they'll be in different colors you know blue ray whatever it's pertaining to the problem and the question so for this one Again, you're just estimating and you're going exactly as the number line goes. So company A, uh, interquartile starts at 20, and then the end of the quartile ends at 40. That's it. You don't need to put the numbers in the middle. We know that obviously 21, 31, everything is between tw uh, 20 and 40. You're just telling me what the greater interquartile range is of the full box. Okay? Then you're going down to company B, same thing. Starts at 20 rides, goes to 40 rides, and we can clearly see that the greater entire quartile for uh, company A and company B is going to be the same exact thing. So the, the answer would be uh, company A and company B have the same interquartile box length. And just to show you guys, just to see, so that's basic what you did. So let's say I just erased this, okay, just for sake of what you guys are looking at. I extended this box of whisker, and instead I went to 50, okay? And there it goes. So if I know that this, the company uh, B, 
stay, uh, stay the same. It went from 20 to 40 rides that stayed. But company A goes to 20 and it goes to about, you know, about 50. So then you can see for this one has at least 10 more rides that it's applying uh, for the company. So which one has the greater? Again, keyword greater. We know that 50 is greater than 40. So in the second example that I'm giving you guys, the uh, box and whisker company that has the greater interquartile would be taxi what? Taxi A. Very good. You can see the different ways. It's not too hard. Again, you're just reading the data, reading the number line, and figuring out how it applies to the basic of the question, the vocabulary, and the terms that you know that you follow through. So, you know, this is the second part of the box and whisker when you are looking at the box itself, looking at the expansion from the one side of the box to the end, how it applies to the question, and then just put the numbers down and then you compare and contrast between the two. And in this case, the first one came out the same because we had it and then I just showed you guys the second one of how just a little bit extension will show you that the other one is greater than the second one. And that's it. And again, you're following the videos and the process and you know the different um, sequences of the data to really compare. This is just another great method to show you how different data could be compared from a box and whisker perspective or a dot plot or bar graphs. There's so many different ways. And a lot of people apply them in different ways when you're asked for a specific question. Okay, so we're going to move along to the next instruction video that I will show you about how to tell me, or based on the question, which one of the companies has the most consistent spread of whiskers. And I'll show you guys that in the next video. Right. Have a great rest of the day. I will see you guys later. Take care.